Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a blueprint for growing a blog on a website. As you can see, I started working for this company about 16 months ago, something like that. This is the Google Search Console for the last 16 months with um, the URL filter for blog. And as you can see, the main thing I've been focusing on is exploding their blog and it's been working really, really well. And I want to let you guys into the secret of how I'm doing it and how you can do it very, very quickly. And yeah, let's just get into it basically. So the way this is actually going to work is we're going to be using Google keyword ad, Google ads keyword planner. So to get in order to get to this screen, I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So I'm going to create a new account so you can see what to do because it's a little bit confusing. And we're going to be using Google ad keyword planner to find our keywords. Okay, so once you see this screen, this is the smart campaign, you don't want this. So click on the bottom here, press switch to expert mode, it will then show you this screen and maybe you can see where this is going. We also don't want to do anything here. So create an account without a campaign. Yes. Let's just submit this. And then we should, if I click on explore your account here. Okay, so it's kind of annoying how this works to be honest with you. Honestly, Google Ads is so annoying. Click on new campaign here, and then, again, it's not letting me do it. Oh my, oh, here, create a, create a campaign without goals, guidance, discovery, whatever, continue. I really hate Google Ads. Let's try something else. So let's go on Google, type in Google Ad Keyword Planner and then click on the first one, press login. It'll be in English on yours, unless you haven't got yours in English. The Google ad campaign is 480, ends in 1658. So this one, let's see if it's set up correctly. God, this is so complicated and annoying. There we go. Okay, so this is a fresh account, uh, as you can see. So what you want to do now is you want to click on discover new keywords and then you want to change this to English because it will be in whatever language of the country you live in. And then you want to put United States here. You can do United States, you can do wherever you're trying to target. So let's say we're in the camping niche. I'm just going to write the word camping first of all, because I know nothing about the camping niche. I'm doing this from scratch. I have no idea about the camping niche, but I'm going to show you guys how you can find some good keywords. Sorry about the thunder in the background. Okay, so glamping already, pretty interesting. Um, so what you could do already is niche down into glamping instead of camping. So that would be pretty interesting. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on three month change. And North Face duffel bag, there we go. So let's say we have a niche affiliate website. It looks like an, these North Face duffel bags are pretty popular. Let's go on Google and let's see how competitive it is. So all in title. Oh, really? That's interesting. Let's do in title instead. Oh, wow. Interesting. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. But you could, could be worth doing an article on best uh, duffel bags or just on a review on the North Face duffel bag, for example. Pop up truck camper. I actually don't know what that is. What is a pop up truck? Do they sell them on Amazon? That's the important question. Amazon, because if they sell them on Amazon, it's easy to set something up on a niche affiliate website, wherever it might be. Uh, yeah, okay, truck camper. This is what they are, I believe. Yeah, this is what they are. Nice, interesting. I have no idea. One man ten, interesting. So right, this is, I'm gonna actually use this as an example. 
So in title, oops, in title. Okay, 2.7 million. So it's obviously a very, very competitive keyword. Um, and yeah, basically what we can do is we can write an article around something like this. I think I might actually look for a different example, just something a little bit more interesting. Okay, so what you can actually do is you can niche down further on the same keyword. So I took the one man tent keyword, which has up to 20,000 searches in the United States alone, which is obviously huge. And what you can do is you can take all of these keywords here and you can basically write a very, very easy article around this type of topic. So what I like to do is I would probably write several articles. So like one about uh, lightweight uh, one man tents. Again, I don't really know anything about camping or lightweight tents or whatever. It seems like a very, very, very competitive niche to be honest with you. But a lot of these have a lot of uh, branding as well. So I think this is a brand. Yeah, this is pretty, I, I can see how uh, you could easily write an article about this kind of thing. Super interesting. It looks like YouTube is the dominant one here. So if you do have one of these websites, you're going to want to have a YouTube as well. Otherwise, you're probably not going to do very well, to be honest with you. Um, if you guys are interested in more videos about how to kind of get on the SERP for these kind of keywords, let me know. But you can already see how to do it just by Googling this, this alone. I wonder how many views this video has. Let's have a quick look. I'm expecting it to have like 100,000. Please stop. No, I won't have 100,000. Almost 100,000, yeah, wow. So English Woodsman has 77,000 views, which is already a lot of money. Plus, these are almost definitely, oh, it doesn't actually have an affiliate link. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I would have had an affiliate link personally, but not everyone likes them. I don't really like them. On something like this, I would probably have affiliate links, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is a really, really good place to find really, really good niche keywords. And then all you do is you just copy all of these keywords like this. So once you know that this is a good, so you can see how to shape the kind of article, right? Already, you can see how the shape of the article is gonna start shaping up. So let's just go on the other one here. And then I'm gonna introduce you guys to a tool which is completely optional to use. Uh, I do have an affiliate link for Jasper, so if you wanna support my channel, feel free to use my link in the description or just Google Jasper. Or you can just write your stuff manually. Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about that quickly. So if you don't want to pay for Jasper, if you want to just do this manually and spend more time doing this, you can just copy the keywords into a document like this and you can just start to build out an article and you can use these keywords as titles, okay? So this would be a really, really big article. This would take a long time to write, but the basis of the article would be something like best one man tents, uh, two, two man tents. This would be H1 and then all of these would be H2 and you just basically write content under here. I personally hate writing content, so recently I've been getting into using Jasper, as you can see. I've been writing quite a lot of articles recently, and they are being indexed on Google. So you can look here, uh, Neapolitan tailoring, okay? So if I do URL contains Neapolitan, you can see that it's already getting some traffic. Hang on. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know this already had the word Neapolitan in it, oops. I may have just, I'm oh no, I may have made a mistake with this article because now I'm in, now I'm trying to fight myself basically because I already had an article on this topic. Damn, I didn't realize. I thought this was just a history of Cesare Ottolini. I didn't realize it was a history of Neapolitan tailoring as well. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. I wrote this uh, very, very recently. It's already on Google and it's already getting some traffic, which is really, really good. 
So I love using this uh, workflow here. Um, and what are we writing here? We're writing about best one man tents. And then you would get uh, probably like the most important keywords. Just whack them in like that. One man back, backing tent. And then let's get a couple of um, the, what they called the brands and we'll put the brands as keywords like this. And then we'll do something like, um, this is an article about best one man sense. Use the brands from the keywords. Okay, and then we'll just hit generate ideas. The reason I love Jasper so much is because I really don't like writing things like this. I, I find it really, really boring, and Jasper just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more um, stomachable, basically. Okay, so the best one to two man tense for complete comfort. I like it. Generate ideas for the opening paragraph. If you've ever done a lot of writing, you'll know that the opening paragraph is an absolute nightmare to right so just to have that available just really really quickly for me is a massive advantage the first thing i like to do when i'm inside jasper is do write a blog outline like that and then hit Control enter on top of the um, jasper command and then it doesn't seem to be picking up the brands but that's fine because we can just put the brands in ourselves. So, uh, yeah, okay, we'll put them here, so, yes, I can do this a lot quicker when I'm not making a video, to be honest with you, and when I'm writing about a topic that I actually know about. So, if you already know about the topic, and you, you can obviously do things a bit more quickly, so it is recommended that you kind of make a website or find work writing in niches that you understand and that you're an expert on, etc., etc. Uh, what you can do here is you can actually get a product description of the North Face uh, tent from another website. So probably from the North Face itself would be a good place to get it from. This kind of stuff is really, really good. They've got really, really good description here. So we can just copy this and put it in here. And then we can do this. Copy that and put it as the title. And then hit generate here. That should write a decent unique product description of the North Face tent. Let's just give this a quick read. Yeah, it's not picking it up. It's just writing about random things, unfortunately. Um, the North Face Backpacker tent is... I've got to try and... There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's just keep going. It's just writing about Eureka now, which is nice if this is correct, but it's possible that this is just being made up. Um, and then it's just writing the same thing here, but that's fine. We can delete that. It's always a good idea to get the actual product description from somewhere and not just to use a random one from um, Jasper because Jasper will just make things up. It does appear to be mesh though, which is interesting. So Jasper seems to have got Eureka correct, which is all, all always pretty mind blowing to see, to be honest with you. But yeah, you get the idea guys. You can just fill out um, each product one by one like this. And then under that, you would just be adding as many of these kind of random FAQ questions. If you can see any FAQ questions, um, and then maybe just look for each one. So like freestanding tent, make sure that you have a freestanding tent on there. Make sure that you have a one man tent for bike packing. Make sure that you have one for bike packing. It's just that easy guys, honestly, like you can, uh, you can split it up into brands like this, or another thing you can do is you can split it up into, um, into like types of tents. So, for bike, one for bike packing, one freestanding, whatever that even means. I've got no idea what that means. And then you slowly build up 
build out the article that way and then you just include products as you go. And honestly, this is working really, really well for me. I wanna show you a couple more examples, but it's that simple guys. And I just really like to use Jasper because it just makes things a little bit uh, quicker for me. So let's have a look at this one. What color shoes should I wear with a navy suit? So I'm gonna guess that if I do URL contains navy suit, this should work. It's possible that there's more that have navy suits in. No, it seems to have worked. You can see already after just a few days, it's already getting like a decent amount of impressions. I wrote this basically exclusively with Jasper. Okay, you can see how I lay it out. It's a lot easier when you know about the topic, okay? So I don't know anything about camping, which is why maybe this video seems a bit strange, but you can see that, for example, I'm doing internal links, I'm doing lists, I've got pictures. All of these internal links are going to keywords that I found on Search Console for these articles. So if I do, this is an article that worked really, really well. You can see it's just absolutely exploding at this point. And what I did was I looked for the highest um, impression keyword from Google Search Console, like I'm showing you now. So I click on impressions here, black tie dress code. You can see that I've added the word event, but yeah, it's the same thing. It's still basically that keyword. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's basically all there is to it. Internal links, images, all that good stuff. You will rank and this is the easiest way to rank on Google at the moment. Thanks for watching and peace out.